Here are the five weirdest stories to come out of Niagara Falls. Stay tuned if you there. I, the Michigan, I remember her well. The year was 1827, and the hoteliers on both sides of the border decided to do the first tourist stunt in all of Niagara's history. They took an old schooner by the name of the Michigan, dressed her up as a petty pirate ship, loaded her up with a menagerie of animals, including two bars, a bison, and a gaggle of geese. Ay, she was cut off her moorings from Navy Island, and her hull was split open upon the rocks as she careened down. The two bars escaped and swam right here to Goot Island, which we believe should be called Two Bear Island, but the state won't listen to us. The rest of the animals met their fate as the boat careened over the mighty Horseshoe Falls. Except for a single goose, which a man by the name of Dugan caught. And that is the story of the pirate ship Michigan. The year was 1969, and we had just landed a man on the moon. But we decided to do something even crazier. The Army Corps of Engineers decided to dewater the American Falls to study the erosion. After the 1954 rock slides here, a series of large boulders were at the base. And we were afraid not only was it making it look incredibly tacky, but the falls may cease to exist due to the erosion. So for the entire summer, they shut off the water using an amazing technology known as a coffer dam. And what did they discover? Well, they discovered there's absolutely nothing they could do. The rocks remained, and the falls continues to erode back at a rate of a foot and a half per year to this very day. Yeah, dude, it's 95. I gotta talk about my bro, Robbie O, Robert Overecker. Wanted to raise awareness to the homeless problem in America. And he decided the best way to do it was he was gonna go over Niagara Falls in a jet ski. Now this man knew that a jet ski was totally tubular, but not as much for the radical force of the Horseshoe Falls. So he also had a rocket-propelled parachute. And right then, on October 1st in 95, man, he rode that thing right over Niagara Falls. He jumped out and tubular, man, went right into the air, pulled the strings, but the parachute didn't deploy, dude. Although some say that it might have deployed, dude, and wasn't connected to his body. No one really knows which way. All we know is that like Wiley e. Coyote, he went straight on down, was never seen again. But hey, at least we still got that jet ski. Bing bombies, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. For over 140 years, a mysterious male Egyptian mummy sat within the Niagara Falls Museum, originating in Niagara Falls, Canada. But as financial woes would mount, it would actually come to America for a time and then move back to Canada, move back to the US side, and kept taking turns. All along this way, during that 140 years, this mysterious Egyptian mummy would follow the museum's archive. Until the early 2000s, when the mounting debt was too much, and they finally sold it to a museum down in Georgia. That museum in Georgia decided to bring in an Egyptologist to study the mummy, where it was revealed that this entire time it was the mummy of Pharaoh Ramses I. It was finally returned back to its home in Egypt, and the mummy's curse was finally lifted from here in Niagara Falls.
In 1860, George Sims, owner of the Incline Railway, was also a farmer. He would let his livestock graze right here along the grasses next to Niagara Falls. One particular cow by the name of Bossy Sims was a favorite of tourists who wanted to pet her. Unfortunately, she was a little bit of a diva. So what would she do? She would walk right into the Class 5 rapids of the Upper Niagara River. Mind you, this was an utterly ridiculous thing to do, but Bossy was unmoved. Now, she performed this act of bovine hilarity multiple times throughout the summer of 1860. On one occasion, she actually hoofed it all the way to Goat Island, over 1,100 feet away. However, Bossy wasn't everyone's golden calf. The tour guides here found her completely and utterly ridiculous and ordered that she be moved away from the falls to stop making a mockery of it. So unfortunately, Bossy's milking the limelight finally had to end. But it did leave us with one of the cheesier stories of Niagara Falls. So those were the top five weirdest stories here in Niagara Falls. For more exciting information about Niagara Falls, subscribe to this channel. And to plan your trip here to Niagara Falls, visit explore-niagara.com.